So you're thinking of starting a reef tank. Uh, let's talk. So I know you're probably super excited to get started. Go buy all the equipment. Go out there and buy your first reef tank. But a few questions to consider before you get started. Do you have the time? Do you have eight other hobbies? Do you travel a lot? I know there are so many different ways to automate your tank and you've probably seen those videos if you've been researching on YouTube about how they haven't even looked at their tank for the past year, have not done a water change for five years. Those videos exist, I know. And there are those cases, but I speak from experience when I say you just cannot neglect your tank. If you neglect your tank long enough, things are going to go badly. So please think about, do you have the time? And if you really think about it and you're just way too busy right now, you can go ahead and click off this video because there's really no point asking yourself any more questions. I'm gonna leave. But if you answer yes to that question, the next question you should ask yourself is why you want to get into this hobby. You know, do you want to get into aquaculture? Do you want to just have something to look at, something pretty? You know, do you want, do you like to tinker? Do you like DIY? Um, there's so many aspects of the hobby that it's something worth considering or thinking about because it could shape or direct you in a certain path um, as you embark in this hobby. So, you know, take a moment um, to think about, you know, why you want to um, get a reef tank, why you want to get into this hobby, and what you want to get out of it. Then the next question you want to ask is, of course, what do you want in your reef tank? Do you want a certain type of corals? What kind of fish? So one thing I realized sort of recently is that I really want to keep tanks in my reef tank. Unfortunately, I have a 40 gallon cube and you really can't keep tanks in a tank that size or shape even. If it was a little bit longer, um, maybe. So think about that, you know, um, do a little research on the different type of fish out there and um, what size tanks they require. Um, that way you won't regret it later on. Then the next question is, you know, where do you want to keep this tank? You know, do you, are you going to have a dedicated fish room? Is it going to be in your basement? Uh, is it going to be, you know, in your living room or family room where you're going to see it all the time? It will be there when you have guests um, because it will kind of dictate how fancy you want to get with your tank. You know, how nice of a cabinet, um, you know, do you really want it to look pretty or do you want to just grow corals? Um, so kind of very important and that kind of guides you in the type of equipment that you get, you know, very industrial or, you know, very decorative because, you know, it's in your living space and you're going to see it and your guests are going to see it. And one last question I, I would ask yourself is, what is your budget? Um, I'm sure you're already thinking about it, but um, you want to kind of take a look at what all that is required to start a reef tank. You know, all the pieces of equipment that you're going to need. And um, think about what you can afford. So that will kind of dictate the size of the tank because the bigger the tank, the more equipment you will need and the more expensive it's going to be. Um, and, you know, you can go very high end in this hobby or very budget friendly, but it's good to think about that early on. That way you don't end up, uh, you know, buying a tank, not thinking about all the other equipment that you're going to need. And then later on, realize, ooh, um, I really can't afford this, or now I'm gonna struggle to get what I really need for this tank. So 
you know, these are just some of the things to think about. But all that said, you know, this is a great hobby. It is a lot of fun, very rewarding. So if you've answered all those questions and you're ready to move forward in this hobby, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I am going to be starting a new DIY nano reef tank, sort of budget friendly. So you can follow along as I build that and I learn from it. And uh, hopefully together we can continue in the journey of this hobby. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got some value out of it. And uh, I will catch you on the next one. Till then, stay salty.